I think it's something that, you know, you should actually be asking yourself, especially before the third master class. Um, because this is really important. This was probably the biggest thing that keeps people stuck. Um, and it's these two questions. And it's one, are you ready to have a baby? Do you want a baby? Um, now, like right now or in the future? Um, and also, do you have space for a baby? So this came about because during when we were uh, working through for our second baby, um, and this is the one where it took us like a really long time to get pregnant, like about three years. Um, so a thing for me was I was building a business and um, I was working all day, every day, like almost 24 seven, I swear. I was, you know, up early working, worked straight until I crashed at like 11 p.m. <coughs> um, and at that time, I did not have space for a baby. Um, my husband didn't either. He was in a job that he didn't like. And it's just kind of like, there was like that weird energy of like me just like working, working, working. Um, and him just like being in like a weird um, energy state. Um, but I was in business building mode and I wasn't in, you know, the right mindset for a baby. And I had to kind of come to terms with like, I'm not ready for this and I need to make space. Um, <clears throat> so once I did become ready and you have to trust that you will become ready. And it's really important that you do listen to your intuition. Like your first gut reaction might be like, I'm not I'm not ready or I don't have space, but your mind might try to override that. It's really important to try to tune inward and really figure out what your soul is saying to you. So I had to come with terms, the fact that I did not have space for baby. So I spent a full year restructuring my business, hiring people to get to a point where I could. Now, um, you know, I work part days and I have plenty of time for babies, um, but I made a conscious effort to, to have that happen. And again, you don't have to be as drastic as like quitting your job. This is just one example. Um, and two questions that you really do need to think about, especially before going into um, master class three. Because if any of these are off and there's um, there's not a good synchronicity between this, you're not going to be able to manifest a baby. It's going to be a really hard road. Um, and again, it's the awareness. So, you know, if you don't have space, how can you create space? Um, it will get you to making a baby a lot faster if you're honest and raw with yourself. <clears throat> okay, so that was it. Let me take you through kind of what I talked about. So the things you want to release, timelines, control, um, negative self-talk and judgment and um, any traumas and pain. And then we had like the little miscellaneous segment of, um, you know, anything essentially that has a downer and brings you down and kind of like weighs heavy on you. Uh, your homework is to watch the first masterclass and do that homework if you haven't already um, and then work on releasing these by whichever means works best for you what we talked about so self-love reflection meditation visualizations uh, journaling just practicing um, starting to become just very aware of how you're feeling and working on releasing that uh, working out talking about it all the things um, if you have any questions um, we can you know work and figure out what will work best for you based on your lifestyle and kind of your ideologies. <coughs> but this is all getting ready for the big last final masterclass of these series. And it is called Magnetizing Mommyhood. And it sounds as magical, or it is as magical as it sounds. Um, so what we did today was essentially we cleared the soil. Uh, we pull out any old roots, especially if you do this work, you're going to be like, you know, pulling out a bunch of different stuff, throwing it away, clearing out the soil. And then for the magnetizing mommy head, we're going to go in there and we're going to put like soil aid on there. We're going to make that soil fertile. We're going to give it nutrients. We're going to water it, give it sunshine, all the things you need to create a baby essentially. So that is the next master class is, you know, making sure that you do release. You have a month. So I'm going to be going live in four weeks with the magnetizing mommy hood. Um, because it's really important that you start to clear out your system um, and release everything that's holding you down. <clears throat>